Welcome to the Health Economics and Big Data Analytics webinar. This is a very special edition because we are streaming live from, from the Legia Pepsi Arena Stadium. Joining us is a very special guest from one of our partners, Mr. Tomasz Zahorski, um, uh, board member of uh, Legia Warsaw and Professor uh, Katarzyna Kolasa, the leader of the Health Economics and Big Data Analytics program. Today we will talk in detail about the uh, specific of the program and also to learn more about our partner, Legia Warsaw, and more importantly, the, the new Legia Laboratory. So, Professor. Could you maybe tell our, our candidates a little bit more about health economics and the program itself, and maybe also the three most important aspects of the program? Um, I think that um, this is a very unique program uh, on the uh, European, if not global level, because we are joining two different disciplines. One is health economics and the other is the big data. Mm -hmm. Um, this uh, this is, is really um, something that uh, provides a great opportunity to utilize health economics into real life settings, analyzing the data and prepare the students for for future job market. Job market starting from pharmaceutical companies uh, through um, um, governmental agencies analyzing data and finishing at the um, um, sport medicine. Um, enterprises mm -hmm. like Legia Lab. Like Legia Lab. And also, if it goes for the health economics and the implementation of health economics, for example, here in Poland, uh, the opportunities are enormous, right? Exactly. So, um, uh, I think that um, health economics uh, um, is the most uh, um, interesting field for those who are interested in analyzing the data, but still feel the importance of the uh, medicine and the life-changing um, uh, um, life-changing behaviors so this is somebody who wish to work within mm -hmm. medicine and economics I think this is the bridge that allows us uh, the student to uh, to become the expert in both fields almost one of the most important aspects I think of the program is the practicality of course and provided by our partners could you mention some of the partners that uh, are currently part of the uh, sure. health of the program Sure. So uh, the beauty of this program is that um, um, one third of it is going to be internship um, within uh, our um, uh, partner organizations uh, that allow students uh, to work as a junior scientist, um, um, truly uh, trying to um, get the real life experience. Mm -hmm. So both theory and practice is, uh, is uh, something that we try to deliver within this master program. Up to now, we have uh, more than 10 different partners uh, um, uh, as um, pharmaceutical companies. We are working with governmental bodies like Ministry of Health, National Health Fund. The Ministry of Health? Yes, um, uh, um, uh, and, um, um, and sport medicine entities. So we strongly believe that health economics is a different place and mm. to try to make sure the students will have the opportunity to learn a different, uh, op a different uh, mode um, to use the data in different uh, type of settings. Mm -hmm. And now let's focus a little bit more on our special guest, on our partner. Uh, for our international guest, because nobody needs introduction to Legia here in Poland, but for our international guest, could you tell mm -hmm. a little bit more about uh, the sports club itself? My pleasure. Legia Warsaw is a biggest Polish uh, sports brand. It's not only football. I mean, we are known by far most uh, by our football uh, success. We've been uh, champions of Poland uh, 14 times, we won the Polish Cup 19 times. We are uh, uh, absolutely uh, uh, a sign of the European League and basically for Polish competition also participates regularly in international competitions, UEFA, Europa League, UEFA Champions League. We are traveling uh, also around the world, uh, we are being invited in 2018 to prestigious uh, Florida Cup in the U.S., playing along the biggest crowd of from South America, playing with the biggest brand covering with the Club Olympus also from Europe. So we, we our fan base is, uh, is is not only in Poland, mm -hmm. it's across the whole world, but Legia is not only football. It's uh, it's it's uh, hundred. Uh, we've been established in 1916, so it's uh, now it's within the a very registered uh, year of our existence. And this club is not only football, it's also uh, basketball, it's many, many other disciplines. Now we have 23 sections. Our uh, players and our, our team members are gold, silver and, and bronze medalists of Olympics many, many times. So uh, 
each of you uh, when you come to Warsaw uh, and, 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 and see our stadium experience, our, our museum, it will be really uh, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And as the biggest uh, sports club and the biggest football club in, in this, um, not only in Poland, but in this region, in the Central mm -hmm. Eastern Europe, um, we are very keen on, on working with, with top uh, partners like uh, Kazimierz Academy and many other uh, partners to you know to grow to develop because football is not uh, is, is, is changing I mean the whole game is changing the landscape is changing mm -hmm. it's not only you know, the, the, the 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 game of opinions it's not a game of knowledge so so we you know that, that, that this is the cutting edge and that we know that we need best people from Poland mm -hmm. but also from abroad and we know how to develop them we how, how to work with them we are now um, opening next year so it will be great because it's a long with the program uh, opening a new, uh, like a training center facilities, mm -hmm. it's a 25 million euro investment. So it's a great time to be here. It's a great time to mm -hmm. have you here, and it's a great time to 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 hopefully work with our uh, with our candidates uh, on on something truly unique. Yes, and this is actually the point where we combine health economics with the sport industry because uh, what we'd like to focus on now a little bit is the Leggy Lab. Yeah. Could you tell us a bit more about Leggy Lab? Because from my understanding, our students will have the opportunity also to have their internship there. Absolutely, and this is the idea. And and and, and a Legia Lab, which is a kind of a R and D uh, R and D entity or, or part of Legia, it was established uh, last year. We have a great uh, head of head of Legia Lab, uh, Dr. Piotr Mieszki, who is among others um, also the the the, uh, the chief editor of uh, Biology of Sports, and is a very mm -hmm. renowned figure in Polish sports and actually in international sports. Well, actually, we did uh, create our first promo video together with you, with okay. Legia, yeah, with so Piotr I don't have to, don't have to uh, uh, mention uh, Piotr any, any further, and he, you know, he speaks for himself. So, but anyway, he, he's the, he's the head of this, of this, of this entity. And uh, so I, I have pleasure to work with Piotr uh, because we are together building Legia Lab as a part of the Legia Training Center, mm -hmm. which I already mentioned. So next year, We'll be opening it in the new facilities. Mm -hmm. For now, we're working with limited, limited, uh, I would say, within limited means and facilities here at the Lake Stadium. But starting from next year, we will uh, will move to state-of-the-art uh, new facilities, which will allow us, you know, to to work far more with our players, with our staff, with mm -hmm. our, uh, you know, external partners on developing the the, the you know, best products and processes and new means of, of, of um, uh, influencing sports performance. This is, this is our core business. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's also you know, globally extremely um, uh, blossoming. So, mm -hmm. so I, think, I think we really are, 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 uh, are able to make a difference uh, in this part of, of Europe and, and probably also uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the most important part of uh, the HEPTA program. It is a dual studies program. So you combine the academic knowledge that you gain at Christmas University with the practical skills and knowledge that you gain at the partners, in this case, uh, Legia and in the Legia Laboratory. Uh, Professor, could you tell us a little bit more how uh, the division between the time in Kazmierz University and at the partner looks like? So um, um, you cannot learn data analytics without having the, the experience with, uh, with data. So that's why um, uh, we have uh, scheduled the master program in two parts, two thirds being mm -hmm. the, the one that students sent at Kosminsk University and one third that went at the uh, partner uh, at entity. Um, even at, the, at our um, uh, two thirds mm -hmm. of this uh, being conducted at Kuzminski, uh, we have a partnership with uh, data um, uh, providers mm -hmm. like Acuvia that are going to deliver um, uh, data for, for our students to, um, to help them uh, with, uh, uh, with practical exercises. Mm -hmm. So actually the whole course is built on uh, developing the practical skills. There is no theory to be uh, uh, taught during the uh, during the time spent on Kozminski. Mm -hmm. This is something that students will have opportunity to do during um, uh, self-training. But mm -hmm. the focus is really on getting the practical experience. Data analytics is the future of the healthcare. We are not able to um, uh, to prepare the healthcare system for future challenges, uh, which is like the, the aging of population, mm -hmm. uh, looking for better performance of uh, of uh, 
uh, athletes and um, and us preventing the, the the diseases. So all of this requires data analytics, and I strongly believe that um, everyone who wants to work within the healthcare sector, not necessarily with being the data scientist in the future, needs to require the skills of the data analytics. So that's why uh, I'm extremely happy to have Lagia as a partner, mm -hmm. pharmaceutical companies and governmental uh, agencies, because this will give the, mm -hmm. the broadest spectrum of, uh, of uh, getting the practical skills of, uh, within, uh, within this uh, important uh, discipline. I think that uh, um, having been awarded as the number one winner of the mm -hmm. of the uh, of, of this uh, power grant that uh, that we applied for, that's why we organized this master program, speaks on its own. Mm -hmm. So we were recognized as uh, uh, maybe not us, but the idea that we brought uh, um, is something that uh, was recognized as uh, being as important. That's why we received the first place in the on the winning list. And of course, we received the funding. What is important for uh, potential students here? Thanks to the funding, you only pay a quarter what you would normally pay for programs at Kosminski University. And with that price, you get everything. The prestige that Kosminski University comes with, the triple crown accreditation, your diploma will be recognized basically worldwide. But and, yes. and salaries during the internship uh, Yes, program. and salaries. Of course, when you go for an internship to, for example, uh, the Legia, Legia, uh, Legia Lab, you will also have remuneration. So it is not uh, pro bono. Not that high as our star players, but you will have this for sure. <laughs> and, uh, Very and, good. And, and if you will be the member of the staff who will play in Champions League or Europa League or become Polish champion, then but they have we'll, to start we'll provide you some sort of a bonus. For sure. They have to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And actually, I will share a very funny story uh, from yesterday because we prepared this webinar. We came here to Lega Lab and we take a taxi from Kuznetsk University. Uh, and the taxi driver actually asked me, but how does it work? How does health economics influence Legia? So if you could just describe shortly how the functioning of Legia Lab uh, impacts the everyday uh, actions that Legia conducts. I mean, it will, it will, you know, um, it will influence more and more daily operations of Legia in the future, and, and it already does. I mean, we have to remember that uh, today's, you know, players and members of the staff they are, you know, top athletes, top professionals, and we measure basically every, you know, move they make, mm -hmm. starting from, you know, uh, you know, morning routine and and through the whole day, through the training sessions, through the through the game on field. You you see here the pitch. So basically, th this pitch is also monitored. On, you know, is and there, there are sensors everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we we have a great amount of data. But then obviously, it's always a question of what to do with data, how to read it, and how to also uh, how to kind of uh, you know inform about the results of the data coaches football players because it must be very comprehensive very you know uh, practical mm -hmm. and I think this, it, this is great because uh, especially in, in, in sports and especially in football uh, you then you know through your work you can see the, the, the output and, and, and you can really feel you know being at the stadium 30,000 people playing you know an important game and then you, you you feel that you really do something meaningful and I think in, in today's you know for today's uh, especially young people and, and students this is something unique that you can really make something meaningful and, and then you can observe in real time efforts of your of your work so you know we encourage you to to, to, to come to Warsaw or if you live in Warsaw then you know everything about Legia and you'll be sure for for the state for this uh, program but but you know, we also are very keen to, to have uh, international guests. We have um, a lot of, of players, of members of the staff who are not from Poland, so it's a truly international place to be. So they will fit right in, Absolutely. I would say. Yeah. Okay, and this brings me actually what you mentioned uh, to my next question, because you mentioned uh, the kind of types of specialists that they can come after the health economics and big data analytics program. But I'm curious about one thing. Uh, how does it look like with the demand of such specialists in the sports sector? Is it increasing, decreasing? How oh, would you describe it? It's absolutely increasing. I mean, uh, it's getting more and more competitive because, you know, everyone is looking for this special additional, you know, uh, uh, percents, which will, which will give them this, this, this edge. And I think, uh, and I think science and, and, you know, and, and, and analytics, this is, this is the, 
most probably still unknown field and, and you can gain a lot here so if you if you're talking about uh about the market uh, again not only poland but europe worldwide everyone now is looking and, and also in the big leagues like in premiership uh, Serie A, french league germany mm -hmm. for for people from you know around the world who who, who have the expertise who have the experience and we are able to give it to them i think we we have to say we have to be honest ourselves i mean the same as we our business model is based on on on, on developing polish players and players for certain in europe and then selling them mm -hmm. for big you know, money for millions of euros to, to Germany, to, to, to England, to France, Italy. And probably it's a bit like that with, with our members of the staff. Also our coaches, our analytics, our, our physios, our doctors. Recently, one of our doctors, he went to, you know, to, to, uh, to one of the top clubs in, 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 in uh, United Emirates, right? Because also mm -hmm. the money is getting bigger and bigger than in, than in, in Middle East and, and, and China and US. And, and, and basically sports is something absolutely unique as a business is growing the money is flowing in the this 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 need for experience this need for 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 something absolutely true and meaningful i think uh, this will be really really big i mean sports is already big but it will be even more even bigger in the future and so it's a great great sector to to, to get involved and then to work uh, in the future over the world and let me just guess, Professor, but the sport sector is not the only sector where the demand is increasing. No, absolutely not. Um, uh, and uh, so data analytics is the name of the game. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's for, for the sport industry, it's for the pharmaceutical industry. Um, I have spent many years of uh, uh, negotiating the, uh, the reimbursement and prices mm -hmm. for pharmaceutical, for medical devices. And you cannot discuss uh, any value of the product without uh, evidence so uh, what what we try to um, uh, really develop is evidence mindset uh, mm. for, for the for our students just to ensure that if they wor want to work with the analytics on a daily basis they know how it's going to be utilized what is the what is the meaning of, of this if they want to to become uh, decision makers if they want to become the ministry of health if they want to become uh, the head of different agencies for digital health you name it they need to understand how to analyze the data so that's why they have to join our program too mm -hmm. and i strongly believe that um, although there are multiple health economics program there is none none that has this double um, the function, meaning the health economics and data analytics. There is no health economics program that is joined with the, with, um, mm -hmm. with the food, uh, football team and the sport club. And actually, I was extremely, extremely pleased um, uh, joined Legra for the invitation to, to, to visit the Mira club and uh, organized in Madrid by Real Madrid. And this was, uh, the, this was uh, the importance of the data mm -hmm. you could see there in every place uh, how, how this club was organized and and this kind of centers <laughs> are going to flourish mm -hmm. uh, for 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 the for the sport industry as i understand from what Tamar just mentioned and um, um, all the pharmaceutical companies have the special division um, um, for the data analytics and the di digital health so mm -hmm. the future is really about the digital health too and that's that's another dimension that we would like to introduce our students and now if you would could mention some of the institutions, because uh, we know we have the pharmaceutical industry, we have the sport uh, sector. Uh, if you could mention uh, some examples of institutions where they can find employment later on. So obviously uh, all of our partners are looking for a future employees. Uh, so that's, 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 very uh, uh, that's very important. Because so we, we then give our potential students only exactly. a head start, they start an internship and maybe even potential stable employment later on. Absolutely, that's, that's, the, that's the meaning of it. And uh, we have our partners within uh, uh, Warsaw region, as well as um, um, internationally located, like uh, um, uh, one of them is located in, uh, in London. So, um, so that's, um, um, that's big on its own, mm -hmm. but uh, the, there's uh, such a huge interest from, from um, uh, different employers to join our program uh, that we have uh, more than 10 already um, already um, contracted. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so um, um, 
addressing your question. Uh, so I strongly believe that uh, those uh, students will have opportunity to work within the pharmaceutical industry, working with price reimbursement, working with market mm -hmm. access. Uh, they have opportunity to work w within the sport industry um, whenever they w wish to uh, understand data analytics for the uh, for the maximizing performance of athletes mm -hmm. as like as a preventive medicine uh, within the sport um, uh, field. Um, uh, thirdly, um, uh, governmental agencies mm -hmm. um, that uh, require uh, this type of skill sets. Just as we speak, we are discussing with the um, uh, uh, with the um, 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 uh, Warsaw Town Hall mm -hmm. uh, to have because they, they would like to have students um, uh, for the data analytics about the elderly care. Mm -hmm. So so governmental agencies as such have different opportunities. Um, uh, to um, to invite this kind of qualifications, mm -hmm. um, uh, and myself, I strongly believe that the future is about the digital health. So this would be the fourth um, uh, area um, uh, that I would like to have uh, um, our students mm -hmm. to be advanced. Uh, this is actually very good. digital health, right? Uh, because then we have a saying, <laughs> so we publish in the Minsk University social media pages an article about it, that in future we will call our doctor, uh, Dr. Google, uh, Dr. Uh, Twitter, let's say, and everybody will be looking also uh, and helped through the advancement of, for example, AI uh, through those search engines. So uh, the future presidency of the European Union, uh, led by Germany, is going mm -hmm. to be under artificial intelligence uh, title. So this, this uh, I think, is a clear indication where are we heading. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there are pros and cons. I don't know if uh, you, Tomasz, think about there are any athletes driven by the artificial intelligence, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I guess uh, I guess mm -hmm. we can think about um, the potential within this. Yes, yeah, certainly, for sure. Say. But although I think, and you know, and I, and I think that uh, in the future, the the, 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 the contact with, with top, you know, doctors and experts will be probably even more expensive, and mm -hmm. it will be, you know, a, a, a luxury product. Uh, and but in sports, I think it will it will be always always like that. That uh, that, that you know, the, the doctor, the physio, the you know, the, the analyst, that they will be, you know real human beings, you know, on, on the sideline of the pitch and, 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 you know, standing by and interfering with the players or also in the, in the dressing room. So, but obviously when you're speaking about mass population and the uh, general public and also uh, healthcare economics, yes, I mean, it's, it's getting, mm -hmm. everything is getting much more costly. Mm -hmm. So AI and other, 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 you know, uh, means of, of, of digitalization of mm -hmm. healthcare, they will be, they will be there. So I don't exclude that myself. I will use them from time to time, maybe yeah. uh, a doctor on, on, on the basis. And actually, this is very important because yes, this will happen. But the most important factor for such an AI, for example, uh, to work is data, because they will make their decision based on this data and this is what the health economics and big data analytics program is about and both at the Legda lab or, or other partners uh, you will learn how to interpret data and how to use them to for example allocate various resources more effectively and uh, one more question if it goes uh, Firstly, for the candidates and uh, for our viewers, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below because we're uh, reaching the end of our webinar soon uh, and afterwards we will uh, answer your questions. Uh, but getting to the end of it, uh, if it goes for um, the procedures right, that our uh, students will be responsible for at uh, the Leg Lab, uh, what kind of skills uh, will they acquire through the practicality of yeah, they will. They will certainly, you know, get to know uh, a very specific, you know, data, which which is sports data and sports performance data, and and this access to to, to this, uh, you know, to, to the players, the mm -hmm. first team players, the academy players, to 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 to, to, to a unique, I would say, group of 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 uh, uh, of, of uh, you know uh, of people, of sports performance people. And, and, and they will also, you know, know, get to know better the, the discipline of football, and, but also other disciplines because we're, we're a multi, multi, multi sports club. So they will learn how to work with, with all this whole staff and players uh, in the field of football, in the field of sports, which then can be applicable all over the world. Because I think especially this 
the, the sports is truly you know absolutely international mm-hmm. so uh, so then you can work on you know everywhere around the world and 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 and, and sports performance uh, you know data they are they are absolutely you know uh, cross border and and, and 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 international so i think it's it's, it's about getting getting to know better these environments which mm-hmm. is also a very specific environment is very you know dynamic it's mm-hmm. it's, it's you know it's it's a week to week it's you know we have a game every sometimes three four days and mm-hmm. you need the data here and now you need the results you need some some advice you need some 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 you know some uh, important uh, important decisions to be made about the player who is fit or not fit ready to play or not to play whether we should uh, you know uh, send the play for operation uh, you know uh, more costly i don't know outside poland or do it mm-hmm. uh, in poland a lot of a lot of decisions to be made, a lot of uh, questions to be answered, uh, and, and and here again, analytics will be extremely valuable. So, so working in a really high speed you know environment, um, mm-hmm. but also in an environment which which gives you a, a great boost of energy because when you come here to the stadium mm-hmm. and training, it's like you know the passion is everywhere and the emotions are everywhere. So also you have to keep your head you know cool in this passion and emotions. Again, data will help, <laughs> right? Because data are pretty <laughs> really much uh, objective. So mm-hmm. I think it's we we really um, I mean I mean uh, uh, there are many great partners of this program, but I think Legia is extremely specific in terms of 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 of, 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 of the sector uh, it, it is involved yes. in. So we highly encourage you to, to come mm-hmm. here and work with us. Well, Mr. Thomas, the way you describe it, uh, you encourage me maybe to apply for the program, and uh, you try to apply you for the discount, right? <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> no. uh, okay. Uh, so, just to sum up the head the program, and then we will move uh, uh, to the question that we have from one of our candidates. Um, so, we have the practicality. Yes, the dual studies program. So, you've uh, spent part of. Uh, your time at the university, also with practical classes and workshops. We try to limit the theory to the minimum. Then, to one of our partners, like Legia and Legia Lab, for example. Next thing, this program is co-financed and was number one in a contest for a grant uh, in Power 2019. Uh, that, I would say, even uh, confirms the quality and the uniqueness of the program. But for you also, it is uh, important because you can study at the university for just a quarter uh, of the regular tuition fee. Uh, next important thing, uh, the demand of specialists in this area uh, on the job markets. Like Mr. Thomas already said, it, uh, in the sports sections it is increasing and will be ever increasing. And also in other uh, industries, for example, the pharmaceutical industries or governmental agencies. Uh, next thing is Kuzmin's University and the Habitat Program also is also trying to work together with uh, the Ministry of Health. Uh, and that the Ministry of Health and LAGI are just some of the partners that um, are joining this program and have declared a participation. Did I forget something? I think that maybe you can add that uh, the after completion of, of this important program, uh, the students will get master's degree in economics. So um, uh, this um, the, the, it's very important to mention that mm-hmm. uh, the, the key focus of the first introductory phase is going to build the economics. So, which is uh, so important to, uh, for, to, to, to for the provide the analytic mindset for the students. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is maybe the last point. And okay. I think, yeah, apart from becoming having a degree in economics, you will be a top-notch expert in soccernomics. <laughs> soccernomics. Okay. <laughs> no, like I need to. I need to write that down. But no. the first and important thing is that after the fin- finishing the uh, habitat program, you will have a master's degree in economics with a major in health economics and big data analytics. Right. That will be uh, your diploma. Uh, other than that, the most important couple of informations, uh, the admission period for this program this year uh, will be until the 20th uh, of September to sign your documents. So if you are uh, in the vicinity of Warsaw or in Warsaw, it's high time to uh, contact our admission office and send in your documents. And other than that, I think it's time to address the questions that we have online. So first, uh, firstly, Mm, we have a question from Mr. GSK Dudes. Uh, I want to know the selection procedure for this master's program and career and internship uh, prospects. Well, 
uh, we already discussed uh, the uh, career uh, prospects. Uh, if you want to see it, but maybe in short, we will summarize it for 10 days. Sure. So, um, um, very shortly. Um, as mentioned earlier, pharmaceutical industry, sport industry, and uh, governmental agencies uh, related to the healthcare. Mm -hmm. If it goes for the selection procedure of the program, well, it's quite easy. First, you need to, of course, apply online, send in your documents, and uh, you have, of course, a test uh, from the health economics uh, part and the big data analytics part. But maybe uh, the professor could uh, share a little bit more about how the test is constructed. The test is really to um, to ensure that we have um, uh, among the very exclusive club, we, we really try to get a limited number of patients to make sure that we have individual program almost for uh, each of them, because mm -hmm. we need to develop that, this internship part um, precisely. So um, what we want to make sure that in, in, this, um, uh, in this group, we have everybody with analytic mindset. Mm -hmm. So the test is not about that, uh, that we have to prepare yourself with extra knowledge. It's mm -hmm. really about uh, testing your a capability to analyze the data and just draw some quick mm -hmm. conclusions. So it's nothing um, 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 very exhausting, I hope, um, but it will uh, give the nice feedback to mm -hmm. the students whether they are, they are able to, to join this um, data analytics um, uh, group. And of course, one more important thing, uh, you do not need a bachelor's degree in economics. Of course, knowledge about uh, economics will make it easier for you to uh, handle the program, but it is not uh, necessarily required to have a bachelor's degree in economics. Uh, so, uh, next question is, uh, Professor Kalasa said that studies are going to be very practical, but tools for data analysis are Python, for example, X SQL, uh, are not mentioned in the courses. What big data tools are used during the program? Um, uh, this is what, what mentioned, but R is, I think, the, the SAS and R are the two um, mostly used. Mm, R and? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and SAS, right? So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's okay. the, those two, because we need to adjust to the what um, uh, our partners uh, are utilizing on a daily basis. And nevertheless, um, the, the interest um, coming from the students will determine whether we should, uh, we should um, broaden that scope uh, farther. Uh, so as, as mentioned uh, earlier, um, the, the first um, half a year is really about the economics and introductory, and this will be used to, um, uh, to tailor uh, the, um, the, um, the analytic mm -hmm. tools we will require. The, the subjects are already defined uh, as well as uh, the, um, uh, the program scope for each of them. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. the data analytics tools um, will be adjusted accordingly. Okay. Those two are and it goes for the tools that are mostly used in the health industry. In the health industry. For example, master access, right? A master, I'm looking at the word here. <laughs> So I think it, it, it's really the, 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 the what is the purpose of market this? access. Market access. Market, market access, access is uh, obviously one of the um, future ti uh, job title that the, 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 mm -hmm. the students uh, can acquire uh, if pursue the pharmaceutical industry career path. Um, uh, but um, yeah, but mm -hmm. the, the analytical tools that, uh, that the question was about. Um, uh, um, uh, we want to make sure that students are aware of all um, um, analytic tools that exist for data analytics. Mm -hmm. So um, um, we uh, will have our uh, practical exercises with real life data uh, from, uh, from, the, from the Polish market mm -hmm. actually, and not only. And for that, we are going to use uh, SAS and R. Mm -hmm. And nevertheless, we want to make sure that the students will possess the understanding and knowledge uh, of different uh, analytic tools that, that exist. Mm -hmm. It's the very important part. Okay, I think that uh, covers the question. And the uh, last part of the question actually is, and I think this is a question to both of our guests, uh, that if it goes for those data tools, uh, when will they be able to cover them during the studies? So will they use them only, for example, in the workshops of class or also, uh, for example, during their internships? Both. I can only agree. <laughs> okay, so both. So you will handle mm -hmm. uh, the data and pixels basically throughout uh, the majority of your studies. 
Okay, so that is it if it goes for uh, the questions that we have for today. Of course, if you will be watching this video uh, later on, we will be happy to answer your questions uh, when they arrive. Just put them in the comment section and somebody should answer them in the next uh, couple of hours. Uh, well, I would like firstly to thank our special guest, Mr. Tomasz Zachorski, uh, for you. joining us and Professor uh, Katarzyna Kolasa. And also, Mr. Tomasz, when is the next match? Now we have an uh, international games break, so now the Polish national team is playing two games in the Euro qualifiers, so we are getting back on this pitch. Actually, we play the next games away, so uh, mm -hmm. so uh, the next game is on the, on the 13th of September, so keep your fingers crossed for us. Okay, 13th of September. We will become Polish champion again, so when you will come join us, you will be working uh, uh, with, 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 with the championship sides, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much for joining us and remember one important thing. If you are in Warsaw and you want to start studying this year, the 20th of September is the deadline to submit your documents. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon at Kuzmin's University and Legela. See you. Thank see you. you. Cut off. Yeah. I don't think that's from Chris, but you're from. Yeah. 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 Yeah.